What's up, Sim Racers? This is Larry at TJR Sim here, and today we're going to be reviewing the Zio Stand Z404. This wheel stand specifically made for the Logitech Series wheels. This is going to cover your newly G920 for your Xbox, your G29 uh, for your PS4, which is what I'm using it for, and of course your G25 and G27s. This will also include the hookup of the shifters and uh, as well as the pedal base as well. So. Also, I wanted to give back and put a little note out there. I wanted to give back to the community. I want to give one of these away to one of you lucky winners out there. Uh, I want to get you off the controller and get you more into something that's a lot more fun uh, using a wheel. So stay tuned to the end of the video of how you can win one of these stands. Uh, the wheel is not uh, included, but the stand is uh, giving it away. So uh, I have two of these here. I have a black one and a red one. I'm giving away the black one that we'll be showcasing here through the review. So, stay tuned, let's get into it. All right, welcome back. So now we're looking at what comes into the box here. Went ahead and pulled it out of the sleeve and this is what you get here. You get your nice instructions here, which is showing you all the, uh, where to tighten it up. And then of course, uh, wheel adjustments as well. Well, this is actually mountain knitting and this is your, your wheel adjustments as well. So all on there. Plus you can go online and see it, which I'll have a link in the video that you can be able to see how to assemble this, which is super easy, but let's go over what's it in the box still. So you get, of course your wheel stand here and you get a bag of goodies here, which will be the adapter for you. And some tools so you get two allen allen wrenches in there that you'll need a really nice wrench and then of course the hardware that you need to mount up your logitech uh shifter your uh, wheelbase of course and then of course the uh, pedals themselves if you're wondering that's what this rod here is for is to mount up the pedals themselves so we'll get into that i actually will pull out the one i already have assembled and show you how it all looks together so but first let's go ahead and cover some of the uh, geometry or some of the features of this particular wheel. Let me get this box out of the way. So, as you can see here, it's a pretty minimalistic design. It actually, which is a good thing because this doesn't have to be overthought or anything like that. It looks really good. Uh, oops, my camera getting a picture, but this is your adjustability as far as being able to lift it up into place. You are gonna mount your pedals right here. And that's what these little rubber uh, bushings are for as well. Your wheel base, of course, will mount up right here. And uh, if you notice, this is extending. You can extend this up and, up and down. Now, just a note on that. I have noticed since I'm a six foot tall person, uh, this does work for me. However, I am extending it and this is as far as it goes here. I am extending it all the way up and out to the highest position to, uh, to, to supplement my height, right? So let me put it back a little bit here and get this in the shot. So that's what it looks like at the six foot, but a six foot mark right here. Uh, but it does work good. It's not like it's weaker at the joint or anything. I didn't have it tightened up. Not like it's weaker at the joint or anything uh, when in use. And being that I'm playing with it on carpet, uh, it's actually remarkable, remarkably stable. And this is a brand new carpet with thick padding uh, as I'm at a new, new location. Let's, uh, of course, look into some more of the adjustments that you get with this uh, bad boy. So as far as this being articulating an angle, you got these two little clamps here, which are basically your common bicycle clamps and... Uh, but they do the job. Uh, like I said, this is a uh, a uh, easy, easy but robust design. You also have two little. Let me pick this up here. Pull that down. You see how easy it is to maneuver this thing. You also get two of these little rubber bushings here because this can slide around, you know, left and right uh, uh, during your assembly. So if you want your wheel further to the right or left, somehow you got a little bit of adjustment here about an inch and a half on each side before you bottom out against these nuts. 
but that is something you can do. Of course, to tighten it up, of course, twist this to make it a little bit tighter. And then cinch the uh, the hose clamp on, or hose clamp, the bicycle clamp on down. I'm going to call them bicycle clamps, but they're kind of like seat post clamps you see on your on bikes, on road bikes and stuff. And that's it. It's pretty easy to do. Now, I haven't noticed this having to be too particularly, I mean, you got to get it pretty snug so that this uh, wheelbase will not move. But uh, once you got it in position where you want it, I haven't had any problem with this moving around on me, which I really like. Now you'll notice here, you got several patterns here for this, but what this is for is your two Logitech uh, bolts go right through here. And this side and this side are both for the actual uh, shifter plate right here. So. This shifter plate actually mounts underneath, so you can have it on the left side, or you can mount it on the right side. So pretty cool for however you want to mount it. Now I'll show you from the top view here how it goes. Let me see. You will be utilizing these two bolts here for say the right side for us here in America, and uh, of course it utilizes these two holes. Now these holes are countersunk, and your screw just sits in there nice and flush, so it doesn't pick up on your wheel or anything like that. So really nicely done and thought out. Now, what neat thing is, is I didn't really uh, see it in the instructions, but if you wanted to, you see how the stand is lower, which is where a lot of people like it. My daughter played around with it, 16 year old girl, and she, uh, she liked this at the lower setting, but me being much taller, uh, my knees were hitting it. So I would flip it up this way uh, to get my shifter up a little bit higher and it doesn't interfere with the wheel or anything so a uh, really cool option that you are able to do that for us taller people out there so nice little thought out uh, design they could have simply just went straight off of this thing at a flat plate but a little bit of thinking into something here and you got the uh, the options here for the people so nice stuff but that's really what those are really easy and, and, and great design and of course you got the multiple bolt patterns you only utilize two for your shifter itself uh, but yeah you have them in two different spots there so which really just pertains to if you're have it flipped up this way you're going to use these two if you have it flipped down this way you're going to use the other two so it is thought out really good stuff i like it and actually this is all metal construction nice thick uh, metal looks around uh about an eighth inch of a thick i didn't i don't have my measuring uh mic with me right here but it, it does not move around, especially for the forces of the G29 that I was using it for. Let's move on down to, now we cover the adjustment of the height and the angle here. So you can notice, you know, if you were done with this setup and you want it to fold it away, you can just easily flip this up and then fold it on down. Of course, you would have to loosen up the bolts for it to do that, but it is easy enough to do. Now let me cover the bolts here while we're looking at this here real quick. Now these two, all it is is, is this Allen head screw and, and, and the regular nut. And you'll notice in here, you can see it in camera there. Let me pull it out. Get in the camera there. Those little star washers in there. There you go. Hope that's coming in. Those star washers there. And they act, they act like a little groove, so as you adjust, it kind of bites in, and you almost adjust in the little increments and stuff. I like that because what happens is when you have the wheel weight on here of your wheel, and you're trying to, say, get it in position as far as the height goes, and you'll clamp that down, and like, okay, I'm good with, oh, let me get that going there. I'm good with that height there, but my angle's not right you can just tighten up one of these and it'll hold it pretty pretty much there and then you can just kind of fine tune it and then snug them up, both up and then get the exact setting that you want so good stuff there well thought out but uh yeah i like that let's go to the i was doing that backwards there we go uh, now as far as how you're wheel or as far as how your pedals get on here you'll notice some rubber bushings here that slide along this shaft here and uh this looks like a 
aluminum shaft is actually what it looks like. Oh, here's a neat little thing too. Nice, nice, uh, so it's coming in camera there with the lighting, but you can see Zio stand in there as well. Nice machine in there. Really good uh, powder coated black paint on here. The red one looks just as good, actually. You got the rubber end caps on here too, so you don't bang up your wall or punch holes in your wall with this all metal uh, square tubing here. Uh, and of course these rods are held in place. Looks like, with like a little rivet or a set screw in there, but they have not moved around on me. Now you will notice this, these little two little rubber bushings back here as well. Get that in camera. And uh, what they're for is for when you put your wheelbase in here and you slide your wheelbase back up against, and you'll see it when we get to the wheel assembly. Uh, when it slides up against here, you're not marring up the back of your of your of your deck here, and you're also keeping the wheelbase it's or the pedal plate itself uh, from getting damaged, considering that those are plastic, right? So pretty good, well thought out, and this of course is adjustable as well. As far as moving side to side very very grippy uh, so it's not like this is going to move around on you once you set it you you pretty much forget it uh, same with these uh, very grippy the front ones are extremely grippy I didn't have any problem with it on carpet uh, but you will enjoy this extra grippiness if you're using this on tile floors okay so rolling on through there you'll see these extra Grommets, there are four of them, and what that is is just a. If I can get it off, this thing is so sticky. <laughs> Slide it on down there. Oh, now it goes easy. Uh, but what it is is your pedals will set, back of your pedals will set on these, and the front of your pedals will set on these, and you just adjust them in to where you want them. And that's going to keep you from having that pivot, that movement side to side with this rubber grip. Now, I know it may sound like, well, that's not enough. But believe me, once you mount the bar across the bottom and snug it up, they haven't went anywhere on me, and I've been pretty rough with them to try and see if it would move around. And uh, no luck on that happening. Okay, so let's roll into the back of this. Now, here's a neat little aspect. Let me roll that camera up a little bit there. Is you got these little standoffs, these feet here that are adjustable out and in. Now, for carpet, it's not too big of a deal. I just adjust them all the way in, and I haven't had any problem. However, if you are setting, and they go in pretty far, right? If you're setting on something, some unlevel floor, you may, just kind of like if you're doing your washing machine or your dryer and set it up in your house, you may have to adjust one out because your floor is a little bit unlevel. So they got you covered there, that's what it does. And they're very sticky rubber as well, uh, so they don't really move around at all that I've noticed. So, pretty good stuff. Uh, the rods that go through here, they look pretty cool, but they are, you don't need to adjust them or anything. They are in, in where they need to be, and they just bolt in as well. I'm not going to take it apart, but it looks like a, a bolt goes through there, and it is machined in the groove, or, or this pipe rather is cut so it fits nice and slick into the uh, other other little pipe there as well so pretty cool stuff how they have this done i like the shininess of it too looks nice with the black uh, but yeah that is really cool stuff here that pretty much covers the features of that but i want to show you of course the wheel all mounted up on there and uh and show you of course some video of it in action as well so let's get to that all right, so here it is mounted up. Nice up and close picture for you. This is what, you know what, I'll probably move my camera back just a little bit here. So get it all in the frame there. But this is of course with the Logitech G29. I use this mainly for my PS4, playing Gran Turismo, instead of course a uh, drive, drive Club, actually mainly Gran Turismo and Drive Club is what I use this one for. So uh, it, this actually holds up really well. Now you'll notice, you know, it mounts up the wheel nice and easy. If I wanted to fold it down, I could do what I was saying earlier and pop these off. As you can see, it already starts to give away a little bit and then fold it on down. And then there you have it. It is folded down. 
easy peasy. And of course you can go ahead and just tighten these up like so, and then just pick it up and carry it around wherever you want to. Well, let me get the leverage here. So real good, real easy. I actually like the design of something minimal like this because it doesn't take up much room in my, in my sim root here. I only got so much room, but it goes to show that you can have a lot of fun with, you know, will with any will right but then obviously when you got something that's a small form design like this it allows you to people in dorm rooms or, or students in their rooms or the husband and wife that that doesn't want to uh, be yelled at for leaving their toys out when they're done sim racing so really easy to do uh to, to fold up i really like that aspect of it and uh, so, like I said, everything's bolted down with the with the uh, how I showed you. Two bolts here, two bolts here. Now, to bolt the front half of it down. You do have to tighten up. Well, let me get that camera there. Tighten up these little screws here, which is normal if you're used to Logitech. These normal little uh, hinges here that you tighten up against it to keep it from lifting in this manner. It's you really don't even hardly need them, but yeah, I, I do it because it's there. So that works fine. Now let's get to the pedals here because this is pretty straightforward. Now you will notice, you know, you do have some dangling wires, of course, uh, with a design like this. Uh, so I just used a couple zip ties, zip tie there, zip tie down here, just to keep, you know, the stuff out of your out of your feet, you know, to keep you from tripping over it and stuff. And when I get ready to play with a PlayStation, I just plug it into the PlayStation and boom, done. Really easy and just so quick to set up. I like it. It's not heavy, roll around or anything either. Well, it doesn't roll, but you know, to pick up and move around. But I want to show you the back side of this here real quick. Get that over here in the camera. And this is where you got the actual, get it closer here. The actual uh get down here the bar that we're that i was showing you a while ago i put it already up but the bar that goes across that i was showing you comes with one of these screws which actually just mounts to the pedal uh plate itself and then you can see now how these rubber bushings are utilized uh here which this one slid down but uh when you have it normally i do notice they do slide down every once in a while if you put a little pressure on this here you can get them a little bit loose, but they're so dang sticky that they're hard to uh, hard to uh, slide up. But uh, I may need to tighten up that a little bit more. No, nope, that's fine. There it goes. So anyway, you see how it works. But yeah, you got the bar going across here. What what's neat about this too is that I went ahead and put in the power brick here. Which I saw it on their video and like, oh, that's a great idea. Well, I was wondering what I was going to do with it. But uh, with the tension of this bar, of course, bowing a little bit, which you'll you'll see when I go off to the side here. You see it has a little bit of a bow to it. Uh, that's just from tightening it down. But real clever design. Put a little tension on it. Slide this power brick in here. And of course, you know, you get your power wire plugged into it. But it's always out of the way, which I like. Uh, pretty good stuff. I'll go ahead and leave the power plug off for now. But that's pretty much the under carriage of this puppy. And you, of course, see the uh, these little rubber grommets here and the adjustable foot stands uh, for the back are here as well. But let's slide it on up and you will see what I was talking about. When you slide your, uh, your pedal deck all the way back against here, it hits these rubber grommets. So you just position them where you want them. So you don't damage your pedals themselves or start marring up or scratching up this one. Although this is a nice red powder coated and it doesn't, it's really nicely done. It doesn't feel like it's going to flake off or anything like that. So really like it. High quality, all steel construction. So you can't go wrong with it. So some neat things about this is that it's light enough to carry around, but it's heavy enough that it actually stays in place, which is actually pretty good considering I'm playing on carpet. Cause gen generally what I find on carpet is that uh, it'll move around on you. 
And when I say move around on you, it'll usually be rocking side to side and stuff. Now, this is just my table moving underneath this, but uh, I haven't really noticed that too much. It does do it a little bit, right, as a unit, because it's not a huge platform that's really wide that'll give you extremely uh, extra stability and stuff. However, the forces with this wheel have not been too great that uh, I feel like the stand's gonna flip out from underneath me or fall over and stuff. So it's able to drive uh, normal, uh, aggressive banging gears and stuff with it and uh, everything working just fine. So there'll be some B-roll here up here showing uh, me driving it as well at different angles uh, through this video. So that pretty much covers all the features of it. And of course you can see it mounted up here. It looks really great. I uh, really like the red as well. The red just pops and uh, it matches my uh, Cinematech K2 rig over there as well. So I like that. Uh, <laughs> but I, I do enjoy the aspect of the minimalist design to put it over here in the corner uh, when I wanna play my PS4 and stuff. So that's it. Let's stay for the, uh, for the final conclusion of this and uh, go over the uh, pluses and minuses of it. And uh, yeah, let's get into that. Hold on. All right, let's cover the final thoughts of this uh, Z04. Z it's about to hit the market here for y'all. Now, all in all, this is a great stand. It's really for someone that's looking for minimalist design. And uh, when I say minimalist, I mean someone that can just, that wants something that's, uh, they can fold up throw in the back of their car even and take it to their friend's house to have some fun sim racing uh, with their PS4 or Xbox or whatever, or PC, uh, depending on what wheel deck you, or, or uh, what you're using it for rather. It's always Logitech wheels, but uh, but yeah, real minimal design. It's light enough to carry around, uh, small enough, it folds up small enough and compact enough to uh, store away uh, in your closet, nice and easy. Uh, I do appreciate the rubber feet are really sticky on this thing, so it keeps it from sliding around. And uh, it doesn't really, mo it does move, you know, of course, like I mentioned before, uh, it does have the platform that, it, had it been wider platform, it would be even more stable. However, I haven't experienced it being an issue while in use with this thing, so, uh, because... Let's face it, you know, the Logitech wheels only put out like three newton meters of torque or something like that. So it's very, very minimal design. You actually put out more torque by using the shifter uh, than you would than the wheel base itself. But uh, it it works, you know. So it's 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 not like it really needs to be a huge uh, piece or, or or a bigger platform. Now, if it was, it would uh, be even heavier to carry around. But I do like that it's heavy enough to hold in place and not slide around on you. So uh, if you're like me in the older days when I had a, uh, a entry level wheelbase, it was uh, one with like the Xbox 360 one that had the flares on it. I had another one before that, but uh, you would uh, have to basically hold it in between your legs and the pedal deck would always slide away from you uh, when you're hitting the brake. So the, something like this is a, is a real godsend to have, uh, to enjoy sim racing and get rid of the controller uh, just have fun with the wheel itself. So it does get you in, it gets the entry level people in and uh, having some fun, it doesn't break the bank. Now I'm told that uh, uh, the price point will be pretty competitive out there. I have no final price is released, but I am here in around the 120 to 140 mark. So it seems to be priced pretty competitively uh, out there with the other similar stands that uh, have, you know, uh, really good reviews on as well. So this will go up on Amazon here real soon. Uh, probably by the time you see this video published, you will be able to purchase on Amazon. I'll put the link down below. Also the link to uh, the YouTube video that shows you how to assemble it. Super easy as we went through ourselves. And uh, well, I didn't show you the step by step of how to mount the uh, shifter and the wheel, but it, I think Y'all are all smart enough to get it, just two bolts. It's it's really easy to do. Uh, but uh, yeah, so pros, as far as pros go, uh, minimal design, folds up and stores away real easy, sturdy enough uh, with enough weight to it to keep it from being pushed around in use, and, uh, and enough of a uh, heft to it to keep it from sliding around when you're yanking on the wheel and stuff. 
Uh, you will get some movement, and really the movement you're getting is from the carpet or the floor underneath it. Had I not been on carpet, it would probably be even more stable uh, on just uh, regular tile floors and stuff. So you also get the adjustable feet, which is really nice. I really like that. Uh, everything is articulating as far as adjustment for the wheel deck. Uh, multiple adjustments for your shifter left and right, up higher and down lower. I have it in the lower position right now. Of course, the wheel itself being uh, forward and backwards. The pedal deck itself can actually be slid forward and then, of course, to the end stop here. Uh, so a lot of adjustability. Uh, I've had my daughter on it, 16-year-old, no problem with it. Uh, my younger ones can get on this and have no problem easily adjust the height for them, which is really nice for the shorter people. For me being six foot, I am limited to how tall this can be. And that'll roll into the cons. Now the only con I have for this is that it is limited to someone that's about six foot tall. Had they put a little bit longer shaft on it, you could uh, accommodate uh, even taller people for that though. But it's a very uh, uh, little nitpicky thing, but it is something I noticed and I will point out uh, for you guys. So, but other than that, it is really good design. Now who it's for is of course, like I said, is for that person that is looking for something that they can throw in the car to go to their friend's house, or they can pull out of the closet and set up within a couple minutes. Literally all you gotta do is just plug in your, uh, your, uh, your controller into your PS4 and you're done because you're going to leave this all wired up all the time and it's easy enough to here's the cable i'm looking for and it's easy enough to uh, uh keep everything zip tied up and out of the way i haven't had any problems with it uh, uh catching all my feet or anything like that and being that the bar is closer to you it doesn't get in the way for heel toe you can heel toe all day long with this so uh pretty cool stuff to do that as well so but anyway yeah that's a great product if you're looking for something that is a smaller form factor and entry level to hold your Logitech G29, G920, G27, and G25, take, give this thing a look. So it's, it's actually really good uh, wheel stand. So I've been enjoying it. I'm keeping this one, and, but I am giving away the black one. And uh, so all you have to do to enter in to get the black one is comment down below saying, uh, um, what should we say here? We'll say I want one and and subscribe. So uh, I will see that your list down there saying I want one, and I'll see you pop up as a subscription. And of course, obviously, if you already subscribed, uh, you are entered in as well uh, as long as you comment below. And that's it. And uh, in a couple of weeks' time, I'll make another video, and I will uh, get in. You'll have to get in touch with me uh, with your email address or anything like that, uh, and. We'll ship it over there to you free of charge. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the look at the Zio Stand Z404. It's actually a really fun wheel stand to use and I'm enjoying it a lot with my Logitech uh, G29 here. So uh, yeah, we'll see you next time on the track. I'm out.